Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to share with you another case study from the sample paper. And this is from the basic maths sample paper of uh, class 10. So the case study says, due to heavy storm, an electric wire got bent as shown in the figure. It is followed a mathematical shape. Answer the following questions below. So we can see here that on a graph paper, x axis and y axis have been marked and a shape has been plotted. So question number one is name the shape in which the wire is bent. Very simple question. So we can see that this is the shape of a parabola. So the correct answer out of uh, the given choices is D part. So the first question is based on recognition of the shape. Now second question, how many zeros are there for the polynomial shape of the wire? So basically we know that here, the shape of the wire is given in the form of a parabola. So it is represented by a quadratic polynomial. And we know here that when we plot a polynomial, the graph of a polynomial function, then uh, we see that this parabola is intersecting the x axis at two different points. So I'm just taking your attention to these two points. So you can see that this is the first point and this is the second point where the parabola is intersecting the X axis. Now we need to see the abscissa of this point. So this point is on the X axis and we can see that this point is three comma zero. So what is the abscissa of this point? Abscissa is 3. And here, if you see the second point, this point is minus 1, comma 0. And what is the abscissa here? Abscissa here is minus 1. So first thing which you need to understand is when a polynomial function is uh, plotted, then uh, it intersects the x-axis at some number of points and that tells it, the, the graphical representation tells that there will be specific number of zeros. That is basically we need to see at how many points the graph is intersecting the x-axis. So here we see that the Parabola is intersecting the x-axis at two points. So it will be sufficient to answer this question. How many zeros are there for the polynomial? So answer will be two. Okay, now let us see what is the next question. The zeros of the polynomial are, now I have shared with you how we get the zeros of the polynomial. So zeros of the polynomial are, basically you need to look at the value of the abscissa. So what is the value of the abscissa of this point? It is minus one. And value of abscissa of the second point is three. So minus one and three are the zeros. So let us see where is this answer. B part is the correct answer. Now, we need to see what is the next question. What will be the expression of the polynomial? Now you see here, zeros we have already seen that minus one and uh, three are the zeros. So that means, how do we find the expression for the polynomial? This will be x plus one into x minus three. You will be now asked, uh, thinking like how I have written this. If you see, if I put this is equal to zero, then what are the two values of x? 
yes it is minus 1 and 3 so this is the reverse process basically how we get the uh, expression for the polynomial so what we need to do is we need to find the product x plus 1 into x minus 3 now you quickly tell me what is this product this product is x square minus 3x plus x minus 3 so when we simplify this what do we get we get x square minus 2x minus 3 so i'm writing it here x square minus 2x minus 3 so let me see if this answer is available here yes it is there this is the c part so we will be now selecting the c part as the correct answer okay let us now do the last question what is the value of the polynomial if x is equal to minus one very simple so what you have to do so you will be going to this expression x square minus 2x minus 3 this is the polynomial so we say that let this be the polynomial so we write it as px is equal to x plus 1 into x minus 3. That is x square minus 2x minus 3. And we need to now find out what is p of minus 1. So you have to just calculate this p of minus 1. So what will be p of minus 1? This will be equal to minus 1 square. What is minus 1 square? Minus 1 square means minus 1 into minus 1. That is 1. Minus 2 into minus 1. So what is 2 into minus 1? That gives us plus 2. And constant term here is minus 3. So 3 minus 3 gives us 0. So what is the value of P of minus 1? That means the value of the polynomial at x is equal to minus 1. The answer to this question is 0. That is the D part. So let us now select this answer. So this is the D part. I hope it is clear to you. So here you need to see any type of uh, polynomial. You know, the graph uh, will be given to you. And then you may be asked to tell how many zeros are there you may be asked to tell what are the specific zeros like here also you are asked to write the equation sorry this um, value of the polynomial at specific point and then here also in one question it has been asked to write the expression of the polynomial so all similar ki kinds of questions can be asked related to this particular case study thank you so much i hope you have understood this and uh, keep practicing questions and case studies are not difficult actually you need to just read the question and then simplify the question by using the information which is provided to you have a nice day bye bye take care